Jacob starts in goal for United, the 16-year-old Australian. Appearance number three for him. The goalkeepers have been rotated this season. It's his chance today. In the back four, we see a rare start at right back for Michael Keane because the last couple of games in the academy, he's been playing at central midfield and for the reserves as well. He starts with two on his back today. Tyler Blackett on the other side of the defence with the two mucks in the middle, McGinty and McCulloch at centre-half for United. Midfield, Tom Lawrence on the right-hand side. Uh, we normally see him pop up on the left. The last couple of games, he's been on the right to allow Nick Barmby in the past, or rather Jack Barmby in the past, and Giuliano Van Velzen today to play on the left-hand side of midfield. In the centre, Pogba and Hendry. Up front, goals tend to come from John Kofi. Seven goals in nine appearances so far this term for the under-18s. He's up there with Jesse Lingard, who played well for the reserves the other night. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the combination of them up front. Kofi wants to run past people, strong, powerful. We saw the shot that he scored last week. Lingard's clever, drops off, brings people into play. So the two of them, hopefully, might get on the score sheet today. On the bench for United, Chani Akangamani back from a groin injury. He's not played for five weeks. Alberto Masacci hasn't played for six weeks. Joe Cole, the goalkeeper's there as well. Luke Giver in the fullback. And Tom Thorpe, who's played for England and the reserves this week, then tries to perhaps get some under 18 minutes under his belt as well. West Brom, they line up from 1 to 11 like this. Shane Lewis, the goalkeeper, an England under-17 international. The back four includes a couple of players who played at centre-half against the reserves recently, Luke Connolly and Liam O'Neill. In the midfield, we see Jordan Tunnicliffe, who's been at the club for six years, no relation to Ryan, incidentally. And up front, Sado Barino and Kamar Roof, who both played against the second string recently. Roof scored, Barino hit the post. Well, it just shows you they've got maybe a little bit more experience than our lads, David. The two centre-backs playing in that reserve game a few weeks ago and the two strikers, especially Roof with that headed goal, which any striker would have been proud of. Those are the lineups today, then. Lovely morning here at Carrington. The sunglasses are well and truly out. But a scarf as well, which is uh, well advised, to be fair. It's not the warmest. But we always moan about and the weather, the, don't we? And the trendy sunglasses as well. <laughs> I can't get a better day, nice and crisp. We always uh, say here, uh, the elements, especially the one that affects the players the most, I feel, is the wind. Very calm here, it is exposed, but nice and calm today. And let's hope it uh, stays that way. Indeed, binoculars are out and everything. You don't need those, though, when you're watching on MUTV, thankfully. No, we've got uh, some good lads that work on the cameras that can zoom in and get you real close up. <laughs> John Kofi back in the team today, um, played and scored against Bolton, but he's uh, missed a couple of games through uh, through a knock. He had a bit of a groin injury. He's back in now and uh, hit the bar on Thursday against Wigan as well after coming on a substitute. Mm. Somebody who puts himself about and tends to cause real problems for defences, particularly at this level. Well, he doesn't need many chances, David. He's got a, a real, really good habit of hitting the target. We saw the goal against Bolton last week out and nothing controlled. It hits it quickly. Same with that shot in the reserves. It hits it quickly, that's what surprises goalkeepers. He's already beaten his goal-scoring tally from last season, incidentally, as well. He got six last term, he's got seven now. Jesse Lingard wears the armband today, which is uh, good to see. Tom Thorpe has been the regular captain for the under-18s. Michaeli Fornazier in the last couple of games, when Thorpe hasn't been involved. In fact, today is the first game that Michaeli Fornazier has missed this season two goals for him in 11 appearances before this morning. This is game 12 of the academy season. West Brom getting themselves revved up. United going for the more chilled out approach at kickoff. They've done all their talking. Now they want to get on with the football. Lingard, Hendry and Kofi will quite literally get the ball rolling. Referee seems happy, although everybody here shielding their eyes from the sun. It will be interesting for the goalkeepers today. Could cause some problems. United get us started. These two teams level on points at kickoff, and both won at home against each other last term. United winning by two goals to one here. Pogba and Tunnicliffe with the goals for the Reds on that occasion. Lingard over the top chasing that one against Jordan Tunnicliffe. West Brom start with three centre-halves in their team today. Tunnicliffe, O'Neill and Connolly. And uh, it looks like O'Neill has started in the centre of the park. Here's Cameron Gale. Ball 
looking for Kamar Roof. Pogba, nice little touch to Lingard, who acquitted himself well in the reserves the other night. Plenty of space for him to run into here. Now it's Lawrence. Good pacey start to this game. Kofi in there as well. And Bradley Garmston happy to just see that one out. Michael Keane's throw to Kofi. Well, as far as Roof. Tunnicliff dangerously close to his arm, but it didn't touch it. Headed by Luke McCulloch, youngster from Portadown, who started the last couple of games. O'Neill. Tyler Blackett up the line looking for Giuliano Van Velzen. Nice touch from him as well. Kofi in support. That's where it might go, but he went for goal. And the keeper stood up well. Shane Lewis with a save. Great move on that left hand side. He's done everything right, Van Velsen, other than just roll it into Kofi for an empty net goal. John Kofi certainly gave him a little pointer as to what he should have done with the ball. Well, I always say when you get in the box, David, you're in terms of a shot, but that was a little bit of a tighter angle, and you know, Kofi was ideally placed just to get just to get the ball rolled to him. He'd had an empty net. Lingard, who seems to be everywhere at the moment, onto the end of this ball as well. Lovely touch. Was he brought down? Mm. Referee says penalty. Great start for United. Less than three minutes on the board, and Jesse Lingard. Burrowed his way through the West Brom defence and a chance to get the early goal. Well, he took his time there, I've given it. And to be fair, Lingard tried to stay on his feet. He's just tried to take another step to get the ball. But um, correct as is now, I feel he made contact in the box. You've got, you've got a big chance of giving a penalty away. He did take his time there, had a good look and then decided to give it. And it's a chance for Jesse to get his first goal of the season for the academy as well. Armband on. And ball in the net. Great start for United. Well taken penalty. Keeper got a hand to it. Couldn't yeah, keep it out. He's already been involved in a couple of attacks. Lingard on the ball. Chris Strike right into the corner, giving the keeper no chance. Keeper's thumping the crossbar and jumping up and down to try to put him off. Good strike and a great start. Very good indeed. United took an early lead in this fixture last season and they've done the same this time round. Jesse Lingard opens his account for the campaign. Well, it's just what you need, David, after coming off the back of three defeats. That'll give everybody a little bit of a boost. Lingard now joins Morrison, Barnby, Lawrence, Thorpe and Michael Keane all on one goal for the academy this term. Top scorer is Kofi with seven. And uh, Paul Pogba just uh, gentlemanly apologising to the referee for the infringement. Always a clever thing to do at the beginning of the game, getting the refs good books. O'Neill out to Cameron Gale, taking it away from Van Velzen, feeding it through to Marino. No one was really on the edge of the six yard box, which is where they wanted it, and it was collected by Jacob. Yeah, good for him to get an early touch as well. If it was cut back a little bit more, that could have caused a problem. Here's Lawrence, nicely away from Goldsmith, gets the approval from the United bench. Pogba squares the ball over to Blackett, up to Kofi. Well done. Not easy to control that one, he no. did it all well. Lawrence profits from the slip by Goldsmith. McCulloch, touch into Lawrence, and back to Sean McGinty. Two goals to his name as well this term. Flying high in the goal scoring ranks. And Van Velsen just caught offside. Right idea, try to change a play. McGinty going for that diagonal one. 
everything very contested as it always is at the beginning of the games. But, uh, Van Velsen they're just half a yard offside. Here's Tammy Cliff, born in Tamworth, six years at the club. Lawrence closing down the fullback Garmston. Michael Keane getting a challenge in, good one too. Henry pokes it forward towards Kofi. And that's all the way back to Shane Lewis, who joined West Brom as an under 13s goalkeeper. He's since represented England at under 17 level fighting with the likes of Sam Johnston and other young keepers up and down the country to represent the three Lions. Here's the goal scorer, Jesse Lingard. Cross to McGinty and Blackett. United settling well into this one. Should be a corner. Yep. Blackett's ball through, just flicked off a West Brom boot. Out comes Sean McGinty then. Lingard will take this. Plenty of height for United in the middle. Pogba, McCulloch, Kofi, McGinty. Maybe Henry might have a pop from here. No one came to close him down. Worth having a go. Exactly. Get the ball on the edge of the box, get out of your feet. Not getting closed down. Just cut across it a little bit. Worth an attempt though. Well, it's all about testing goalkeepers early on. Shane Lewis stood up to Van Velsen. Well, all the West Brom defence were expecting the ball to get, come in and big centre half to come up from the back, but short corners are uh, just as dangerous if uh, defenders are sleeping. That should be onto the head of Michael Keane, it is. Lawrence tangling with Garmston, now it's Keane again. McCulloch. Michael Keane. Roof comes deep to pick it up, and West Brom start again with Luke Connolly. Sent off against Manchester City earlier on this season in the under-18s for a couple of yellow cards. Gale twisting and turning, trying to find Barino. Well read by McGinty, picking a pass out as well. Van Velsen's ball towards Kofi. Nearly got away from Tunnicliffe. Flick from Barino. Referee has played an awfully long advantage. Yeah. <laughs> It was like a foul on Barino, wasn't it, it originally? Looked a, it looked a foul, to be fair, but he, for some reason, decided to let it go. But it's Blackett that actually maybe thought uh, Blackett wasn't going to get there, but Blackett comfortably got there. So, a West Brom free kick. Everyone behind the ball for United here. Crowded penalty area as well. Jacob comes for it, doesn't quite get it, and O'Neill got the flick. And uh, he knows, although it was a didn't have a lot of the goal to aim at with the goalkeeper coming at him, he did beat him in the air. Well, it's just sort of almost hung up between penalty spot and six-yard box. The keeper shouted, but I think when you're coming over bodies, David, you've got to really be decisive and get a good fist on it. Because it's your own defenders can get in the way as well and, and impede you. We're at that point in the calendar where we're in FA Youth Cup territory. United have been drawn against Portsmouth at home. No date or venue for that yet. We will let you know when we know. West Brom travel to Fulham a week on Wednesday. A real tough tie for them. Goldsmith trying to run away from Van Velsen and Hendry. Pokes it out wide towards O'Sullivan. United for once not getting drawn against the Premier League side. Well, let's hope they can make some progress and the young players can get some good experience of playing against some opposition they don't come up against normally. Portsmouth not having a great time at any level at the moment. Struggling a little bit in the academy bottom of their group, Group A. 
with just four points from their 11 games before today. Surprisingly, Chelsea are only three points above them in that table with seven points from their 11 games. They've only won once, the Blues, this term. That's strange, isn't it? Usually a bit more uh, decisive than that, aren't they? Really getting results. Sometimes you get years like that where you have maybe a really good year and then it just sort of dips a little bit. Well, Chelsea put up quite a spirited performance against United this term, although the Reds came back to win by three goals to two with a last-minute Kofi winner. The signs were there that they would be a tough outfit this season, mm. but uh, I know it's not all about results at this level, but it's still very surprising to see Chelsea second bottom of a table. Mm. McCulloch misses out Keane and picks out Lawrence. Here is Keane. Kofi, referee didn't see any challenge there because he had his back to the tackle. tackle. Yeah. Kofi and strongly took it away from Keane in the end. To me it looks like he's been told about two or three times there, David. I was going to say, how on earth has he held onto the ball there? Garmston with a header only as far as Lingard. Lawrence trying to keep United going here. Tackles galore at the moment. This time it's given to West Brom. Yeah, a little bit feisty. The original ball up to Kofi looked as if it was uh, a foul, but just a little bit rash here from Lawrence, just feet off the ground a little bit. Many interesting faces at games like this, including Brian Flynn, who is the Wales under-21 boss, vastly experienced manager as well, and currently in sort of caretaker charge of the Wales first team as well after John Toshak left. Tom Lawrence on this near side, of course, is Welsh. United's number seven, born in Wrexham. So he'll be somebody that uh, Brian will be looking at today. Promising youngster as well, Tom. He started this season very well on the left-hand side of midfield. Scored against Cardiff City, which will have delighted him as a Welshman. Still just 16 and 17 in January. And today is appearance number nine for him. Yeah, good height. And, uh, he fills out a little bit. You know, he's, uh, he looks like he's going to be quite a physical lad, which is unusual for a wide player. Certainly... With the, with the sort of touches that he's got, he, he could play through the middle as well, I'm sure. Well, he's done that before for the for the under-18s, the under-16s as well, and mm. scored in the Milk Cup, Slemish Cup, Slemish Trophy campaign, rather. So Certainly got the physique, anyway, to be an alternative to go up front. Uh. Akil Greer with the ball out wide for West Brom. O'Sullivan wins the throw off Van Velsen. Henry and McCulloch combining to clear. Now Lingard might seize on this mistake. Tunnicliffe just about got his body in the way. Yeah, just got caught. He just tried to lift it over Tunnicliffe. Here's Pogba. Kofi was pointing where he wanted the ball down the channel there. He thought about it, Pogba, then decided not to. Always on his toes, Paul Pogba. See him bouncing up and down. Ready and willing to accept the ball. Looking up and finding options, and this time it's McGinty. Long ball from him, Lingard onto it. Oh, the offside flag raised there. I'd like to see that one again. Another good ball from McGinty coming out from the back, sliding down that channel. Linesman's flag up right away. Very tough to see on the replays whether that was offside, but uh, to me it looked like he was level at least. But anyway, here's Goldsmith through to O'Neill. Well done. Lingard. Gave McGinty something to think about with Sado Barino hovering around him. Lingard looking for Van Velsen. Ready, 
Yeah, he'll drop off. Lingard has already done it a few times. Drops off into an area where midfield players, nor defenders, pick him up and you get him on the ball. That's when he's dangerous. Uh, as I say, him and Kofi up front can link up well. Well, starting today means he's now started more games this season than he did last. And we're only in November. An example of someone stepping up within a team, really, rather than stepping up a level, although he did do that in midweek. Well, we've seen, we've seen plenty of them. He just needs to get a little bit more physique, David, which I'm sure will come, but he's very clever on the ball. Just getting his foot in there and conceding a free kick. Foul on Barino, who we saw in the reserves, and he scored nine in nine for the academy this term. Been prolific at this level. That's over 30 yards. And one, two, three, four, five. Six. I thought he might pick that ball. 32, 33 yards. He's, it looks like he's winding up to have a shot here. Well, he picked the ball up. I wondered if he was going to put it forward to try and pinch a few yards. He actually put it microscopically backwards, so he's given himself a bit more work to do. Clicks one towards Tunnicliffe, who's up there. O'Neill's up with Jacob and fouled him, according to the referee. Sometimes they're given, sometimes they're not. Decent ball into the back post. Everybody climbing there. I think it might actually come off Lingard who headed it. Maybe not. Difficult one for the goalkeeper where you're not getting any momentum. You're standing to try and catch it and there's bodies coming in on top of you. He's not the biggest of goalkeepers in terms of physique, Liam Jacob, but uh, highly thought of here at United. He's produced some good saves in the couple of appearances he's had so far this season. A real tussle for the gloves at under-18s level. Sam Johnston has played five games for Paul McGuinness this season. Joe Cole has played four. And this is number three for Liam Jacob today. So, real rotation there. It's, it's needed as well because everybody has to play a certain number of games at this level. And you want to give people experience as well and chance to grow. Well, it's difficult. It's a difficult position, we know that. But it's difficult to can't play... They can't play outfield, David, although some keepers will tell you that they can play outfield. <laughs> but certainly, Paul's got to try to get everybody uh, an equal amount of games, really. Obviously, uh, defenders will tell you continuity where keepers good, but certainly they've all got to get experience. Here goes Tyler Blackett taking on everybody. United will get a corner out of that run. Yeah, great run from Blackett. Once he gets into his stride, very, very hard to knock off. Quick, physical. Hard to dispossess once he gets in his stride and gets a bit of momentum. Lingard's corner then. A lot of West Brom players back to defend this. McCulloch at the near post. Fisted away by Lewis. Lingard again. Header from McGinty. And you back him to score these days. Yeah, good balling from... Lingard coming away from goals, McGinn, to try to get power on it, on target, and that's all you can ask for. John Kofi, slack play from West Brom, which has given United possession back. Lawrence taken off by Garmston. Still with Lawrence, nice little ball that, wasn't it? But Van Velsen given offside. Was a good little ball, David. Uh, just missed the referee. I think sort of flat-footed the defence, but Van Velsen's looking right across towards us. He's out wide, he's, he should be looking across just to make sure he's onside there because he's got 30 yards he can still run into. Another close one though. Out by McGinty. Van Velsen. That run from Tyler Blackett just... Uh, Perk things up a little bit for United. Kofi looking to find options. Yeah, just crowded out. Had the chance to hit it wide to Lawrence so there. That looked the best option. Once you delay, there's West Brom shots coming back to back, backtrack and tackle on you. Reno up against McCulloch. Still has it. He's battling, gets a free kick. Must have. Oh dear, it's going the other way. Oh. <laughs> Well, that could have gone either way, that one, well, couldn't some, it? Well, sometimes we can't see from this angle if he's holding on to the shot. 
looked to, it looked to me as if uh, he was impeded there, the colour, but must have just been dragged in shut. And it goes then. Flag goes up for something on the far side. Referee hasn't seen it yet. Offside, yeah. I think it is offside. Not yeah. a good ball in. Good, uh, good delivery with good pace on it. Paul McGuinness just coming across to this near touchline to have a word with John Kofi. A few new instructions to pass on. Encouraging start by United to this one, not just because of the goal, but a lot of the possession has been had by those in red as well. Yeah, and especially the front two, David, who, who look a threat. Lawrence as well. Lawrence has been involved quite a bit. Well, the run from Tyler Black, it just uh, reminded me of something that one of your seven United goals, Arthur, came against West Brom. You've got a good memory, or you've either been doing some homework last night. <laughs> and one of the... Uh, that was... Uh, well, can you remember when it was? I've caught, I only scored seven, David. Of course I can. I'll tell you all of them. In fact, it was one fullback crossing it to the other. Mike Duxbury crossed it. Side foot, right foot volley into the top corner, giving the keeper no chance. Beautiful. Rather like Bebe's goal the other night in the reserves, wasn't it? Uh, not as powerful, but placed in the, passed into the net. Beat them 3-0, I think. Here goes John Kofi. Lovely ball to find him. It's Kofi. Maybe Still. second time. Oh, great block. Was a good block. I'm sure he was going to put us 2 0 up there. Good defending. Well, that would certainly have put clear daylight between United and West Brom. And you would have backed Kofi to score not once but twice there. Just came up nicely, keeper done well, saving it. Just bounced in his favour, but the defenders done well. That's what they're there for, David. Get back on the line as quick as you can. Is Goldsmith on the counter? Perino will do well to catch this. He does though, and squirms his way past McCulloch. Wasn't the right pullback, but it was dangerous from West Brom's in form number nine. Garmston's cross. This time McCulloch makes no mistake. Well, he's it clear towards Kofi and Van Velsen. Running at Cameron Gale. Urging Tyler Blackett to get on the overlap. Yeah, give him a lot to do there. Midway point in the first half. United lead by the skipper's goal. Jesse Lingard's early penalty after three minutes. Very nearly became 2 0. Very unlucky not to be 2. Just came up off the keeper and nah, the defender's done well, you've got to take your hat off to him. Luke Connolly it was. With the heroic block for West Brom. Now Lawrence plays in Hendry. Two in the middle. That deflection might help Van Velsen. Who perhaps didn't gamble on it. He's probably looking, David, that he thinks that's dropping in. Oh, almost dropped in the far post there. Good run by Henry. Hackett's cross cleared away. West Brom living right on the edge. Akil Greer, O'Sullivan and Barino through the middle. It's Sado Barino. Up against Blackett. Good block by McGinty. A good play by the striker, cutting inside on his left, right, left foot, eventually, sorry. Important header from Keane. It's not away though, S O'Sullivan. We've got a real game on our hands here. Well, just since that incident with Kofi almost putting us 2 0 up, it's as if it's like uh, shaking West Brom into life, really. So it's a little bit more quickening in the step. Maybe re the realisation they might have went 2 0 down, they thought, hang on a minute, we've got to get back in this. That block cross almost ends up dropping in off that far post. I think maybe, to be fair to Van, Bel Van Belsen, the sun might have been in his eyes and he's thinking it could hit the post. He doesn't know whether to throw himself at it or not. I wondered if he thought he was going to hit the post as well if he'd gone for the <laughs> probably, header. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the 
cold, big white metallic yeah. post heading straight for his face and decided the goal wasn't worth it. Keith Downing in charge of West Brom. Today he was in the dugout the other night for the reserves as well. Normally ably assisted by Michael Appleton, former United trainee. Lawrence. Kofi will chase a little bit, but it will go through to Lewis. Last game for West Brom was against Stoke. They drew 2-2. Kamar Roof, who's up front today, scored. They also benefited from an own goal in that one. A good ball, good piece of play. Barino. A bit ambitious from there. Best bit of passing from West Brom. Opened up United there. Slid down the side. He's run the channel well, but very hard to score from that angle, David. It's got to be a special shot from out there. But he's got the confidence to try it. Nobody, well, up, nobody up with him, so he might as well have a shot. Nine goals in nine games. You understand why he's shooting from all angles. Story is he escaped from war-torn Burundi and he's now at England Youth International. Scored for them the other night against Turkey. 3-0 victory which Thorpe, who's on the bench for United, and Morrison, who played for the second string the other night. They both played in that match as well. He certainly looks a big physical lad anyway. Full of running. Live wire as well. Very quick. And caused... United's reserve defence a few troubles the other night. Here's Garmston, who's given himself a bit of trouble with that. <laughs> yeah, just over hit it. Just a little bit more boggy down in that bottom corner. First touch just let him down, he hit it too hard. He's another youth international, Republic of Ireland. For him, Jesse Lingard, who is clearly very high on confidence at the moment after a good run in both the under 18 and the reserve side easy for Cameron Gale who turns 18 in just over a week well, I've had a decent amount of possession West Brom especially the last 10 minutes but nothing really troubling Jacob too much no direct shots at him Two crosses to deal with, but nothing more. It's been more of a physical test than a shot-stopping mm. one so far for Jacob, hasn't it? Here's Hendry. Trying to put Van Velzen through. Just on his heels a little bit there, Van Velsen. If he'd just gambled that the pass was coming, he'd have been in. Don't forget, later today, the first team take on Wigan at Old Trafford. Match Day Live has all the best build-up for you from 2 o'clock. Live audio commentary all the way through the game as well from me and from Ben Thornley, who joins me. Here's John Kofi looking to pull it back. Great block in the end by Tunnicliffe. They're really throwing their bodies in the way back there. They are. Good play by Kofi. Presence of mind to look up. He was trying to pick Pogba out, but good defending again by Tony Cliff. Keenan McCulloch doing well to find Lawrence. Now Henry and Pogba must pay tribute to the ground staff here as well. The pitches are in fantastic condition at the moment. An awful lot of rain in Manchester over the last month or so. Joe Pemberton and his team doing a grand job. Foul there on Luke Hendry. Yeah, ref right on top of it. Just catches him a late there. Henry just gets his toe to the ball. Pogba. Tyler Blackett. And now Kofi. And now Lingard. Lawrence, bit of space for him on the half hour in this game now. Michael Keane on the overlap. Options in the centre for him. But none of them that far back in the box. Yeah, Van Velsen had came right in at the back post there. Maybe just a wee bit too early. Just hang out just in case the cross is over hit. That's what I would say. I must say that uh, the term goals galore is used an awful lot in football, but it certainly applies to West Brom because 
Both teams have scored in 11 of West Brom's 12 games so far. The only time a side has drawn a blank in one of their matches this season is West Brom themselves. They failed to score against Everton. There have been 53 goals in their 12 games before today. Not a shot on entertainment anyway. Eh? Well, we've at least seen a lot of effort so far. We've seen a goal as well. You would bank both sides to trouble the keepers in this game as things continue like this. There could have been more. The defenders have done well, actually. They've got a few important blocks, and otherwise it could have been two or three down. That'll be United ball, which Tyler Blackett trots forward to throw back into play. Lingard always making himself available today. Through the centre of the park, on the right, on the left. McCulloch. Gets it back from Hendry. West Brom just sitting off United and then trying a change of pace to nick the ball back. Oh, just a little bit high on. That would have been perfect for Van Velsen. Oh, Kamar Roof has dived over the top of that challenge from Pogba. The referee played well an advantage. Good ball. McGinty looking for Kofi. Great knock to find him. Needs a bit of support here, though. Lingard in the middle. Van Velsen joining as well. Still Kofi. Still John Kofi. What's he going to do with this? I think he was caught in about five different minds there. The goals came too close to him, so suddenly he was just right on top of the keeper, just ran into him. Yeah. Fantastic piece of skill, though, just moves the ball, but now he's got to get rid of it, David. Just whack it, just just whack that over the face of the goals, can hit somebody and go in. Moves the ball very, very well for such a tall lad, right to left foot, just wrong footed tonical off there. I can only imagine that he, he had so many things running through his mind there that. Uh, he wasn't sure what to do. I think he was perhaps surprised that he managed to, to go all the way up the byline like that. A bit like yourself when you get an 18 yard box, possibly, yeah? Is that what you're trying to describe, yeah? Oh, either, either panic or dive, I'll be honest with you. I think he just thought he's, oh, I'm that close to the goals here, I can maybe shoot here and suddenly the keeper's just <laughs> on top of you. But if you hit it over the goals, you've got a chance of hitting off anyone and going in. You're that close. If this game finishes 1 0, I'll be shocked. Chances at both ends in this half. We've had 33 and a half minutes. Lawrence runs at Garmston. Michael Keane. Another fullback who plays his football for the Republic of Ireland. Square to Lingard and out to McGinty. Van Velsen. A little bit of room for him here. Looks up, tries to pick out Luke Hendry. Good move from United. Started off Pogba out to the right, back into the left, and Hendry's trying to place that header in. Hard to score from maybe 12, 14 yards out with a header, but um, keeper made the save look easy. Good move though. Going to see a substitution here for West Brom. I can only imagine there's a bit of a knock, and it's Liam O'Neill, I think, who's coming off. The skipper who's passed the armband to Akil Greer, and the change is going to be Sergio Manesio is going to come on. So that's a, a bit of a blow, particularly to lose the skipper to injury. Also got a knock there, yeah. Just decided to make the change before half time. He's not really been involved in too many thunderous challenges, so I can only imagine it's some kind of muscle tweak, mm. hamstring or something like that. Or Maybe starting with an injury, David, and then deciding it's uh, just getting a little bit worse. Certainly, it's not. I don't think the. Don't think there's been any physio on giving them treatment. There's not been a stoppage. Good running. Mm, just out. Straight swap, incidentally, for West Brom. Manicio is 
been at the club a year and he's a defensive midfielder who's just slotted into the middle of the park in place of O'Neill. Ball back for Jacob. Towards Lawrence, but easy for Garmston. Goldsmith to Manesio. Away by McCulloch and Hendry. Pogba will look to set Kofi away. Gallison's had it, another searching ball from Pogba. Greer, the new skipper for West Brom. Runs away from Lingard. Oh, well done, chasing all the way back. Up. Yeah, chasing all the way back. The defenders will appreciate that.